the heck? What the heck? So it is 7.45 a.m. and it is October 5th, 2018. It's Friday. So it's it's a really big day. It's like one the end of one of my toughest weeks of school. And me and my dad because we'll celebrate that if that's appropriate and if we think about it more clearly. And what's today's forecast? Well pretty nice actually. Really, really nice. Like tomorrow. So now I'm just preparing myself to get this out of the way. Along with those guys that just passed. And tomorrow we might as well we didn't get pen shopping by the way on Tuesday if you didn't notice we were planning to but tomorrow if we can then that's just rather like a heads up kind of metaphor to say I just found this mysterious lamp over there huh I don't know where it all fell from huh, I felt I feel something inside it Oh god, okay, it didn't break. Alright. Hmm. Okay, landed there so far. Still nice. Oh wow. It's so strong. So strong that it has less chance of being broken. Still around the same place. Yep, you see? Nothing happens to that one. Nothing happens to this slide over there. Even though you put this strong block onto this, even dropping it by accident, nothing would happen to that. Even like after once or twice, so I already had tried two times. I'm gonna try it for the third time and let's see if the third time it'll work. Okay, ready? <gasps> oh, Jesus. I'm gonna find out what's inside it. Because apparently there is something inside it. Okay, other than that, there's... Hmm. And there's this one, too. And... Yeah, apparently... This bulb. This is really weird. Ooh. -hoo. Oh my god. It does get strong. Look. How weird. So there is actually something Nothing in this. Really line. bad of a fact going there. So some of this bit of bulb was remaining in that. Like apparently I found it like this morning it was still on. It was still up, attached. But maybe between the time I got on the school bus and like five minutes ago, I got off the school bus. It probably got off there. Maybe somebody like dropped the thing off by accident and it fell down and nothing happened to the glass. That's what happens after something which is now useless is being impacted. Well, now I'm gonna find it. Because I think it was somewhere up there and it accidentally fell down from one of these places, like this morning. But nothing happened, nothing at all. Like the glass was still okay. Maybe somebody was like, having it dance around or something in that. And the next goal was that when he was dancing, he, I think he used his elbow to accidentally drop that thing. And I'm gonna show you where it exactly fell down to. I'm gonna show you where. It exactly fell down right over here. Actually, no, right over there. And 
it maybe fell all the way from there all the way down to right here and nothing happened there's not even a scratch on the glass oh god I smell some freaking gas out there since this motorbike came at me with all this petrol like some diesel fuel 95 or something like that I think it must be diesel 95 the kind of smell that came through because those kind of gases I can like generate that amount of fuel that kind of gas like that smell it might be either diesel 95 a little bit of real research to show the basics of fuel that was being pumped out that bike you now his the smoke probably was coming out from the fuel as I heard oh god I'm gonna pass this Not gonna miss out that. Okay. Well, that's lucky. At least I had a chance. Well, actually, this vlog is gonna be a little bit subjected to that antique new car that you guys barely just saw. It does look cool that it's orange and it was made from the architecture probably from like 1955. Probably, maybe even after, but throughout the 1950s, so far ahead now, so I can't really tell, but I would rather say that it was an antique car from 1955. I mean, I saw its shape, so that's how I'm telling that that car might have been from 1955. But maybe it was orange, and maybe back in 1955 they would rather use like gray or black or not so much color, not really until like 1980. But still, I mean, to their fashion. Huh. Just kind of got a little bit bored. Because I don't have internet right now on my computer, it's a bit weird. The internet connection has been completely switched off on my computer. But at least I got this game. How nice. It says, try checking the network cables, modem and router, reconnecting to Wi-Fi or running Windows network diagnostics. Well, those are the only option you obviously have. But other than that, you're, you're screwed. You're disconnected. You're screwed. But time does pass really quick, at least by playing this game, so that you're not 100% screwed. But yeah, maybe even 75% screwed. Mm, okay, so far I'm having good. Oh, kind of looks like I'm about to beat this record. Getting there. Yes, that worked. That completely worked. How nice. Apparently after 1400, it's going to turn black again. Every 700 and then... 200 after every 700 it turns back to white. This is weird. Yeah, you see? Well, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I like this. I actually like the night version of this too. It seems familiar to me as well. Oh geez, I already just doubled my high score now and it's moving like crazy. Moving crazy. No one will do at this point. Really don't know. Am I going to die? Am I going to kill myself at some point? What am I going to do? Jeez, I hope the internet comes back. It's weird. Yesterday I had internet. And today I don't. Oh, goodness. I got 3,003. See up, you guys. Still no internet. Black screen, 3,003. New high score. I'm going to try again. This sounds weird. Yesterday I had internet. Yesterday I was... Kind of able to fix my, fix my thumbnail, but I didn't. Today, no. How is this true? How come I cannot do it today? Well, I could do it yesterday. So, that's that for this video. Oh, something in my eye again. 
Well, thank you for watching. And I hope you like this one. Exploring a new car. I mean, actually, an antique car by some coincidences. See you tomorrow, you guys.